Greetings everybody, Maximus here with a Boeing Max update that may or may not get monetized by YouTube, depending on what kind of mood they're in or if somebody burnt their toast at breakfast this morning. What a crazy way to make a living. That's next on Maximus. Well, Aviation Week is reporting this week that Boeing has completed a critical design review of an enhanced angle of attack system for the 737 MAX. And they will flight test the enhanced system on the stretched version of the jet, the 737-10, in early 2022. Faulty angle of attack data was a main factor in the two Boeing MAX accidents that led to the grounding of the MAX in 2019. In late 2020, the aircraft was cleared by world regulators to return to service pending design changes recommended by regulators that included modifications to the existing angle of attack system and the longer-term development of further improvements, such as adding a synthetic air system to the MAX as is presently in use on the 787 Dreamliner. Both accidents, of course, were linked to problems with the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS, software that was discreetly added to the 737 MAX during its development. MCAS, which automatically adjusts the horizontal stabilizer based on angle of attack data, was added to the 737 speed trim system to ensure the MAX handled like the earlier versions of the 737 Next Generation series to save airlines money on future flight training, as well as avoiding having to classify the MAX as a new aircraft with world regulators. In both MAX accidents, the MCAS activated based on faulty angle of attack data that told the aircraft's flight control software that its nose was too high just after takeoff. Unfortunately, however, neither crew reacted as Boeing's hazard assessment had anticipated, leading to the loss of both aircraft. Among the FAA-mandated changes Boeing made to the MCAS was to program a way to ensure the two sensors compare angle of attack data and are within 5.5 degrees of each other before triggering a nose-down stabilizer input. Although the European Union Aviation Safety Agency originally pushed for the addition of a third AOA sensor to calculate a reading independently to verify the two existing sensors, it eventually agreed last January to allow the MAX to return to service after Boeing committed to develop a synthetic sensor pulling AOA data from different sources. Mike Fleming, Boeing's senior vice president, said we're putting more monitors on the airplane, which would catch any kind of erroneous angle of attack indication that the pilots may receive. Additionally, we're adding a cutoff switch. Even with all these monitors that we've added to the airplane, if for whatever reason you still have an erroneous angle of attack indication, you've still got the stick shaker which tells you you're approaching a stall, but now the pilots will have the ability to shut that off. The enhanced system will monitor five different parameters that will help us determine whether we have an erroneous signal or not, Fleming said. And then if we determine that we still have an erroneous signal, we can suppress that and you won't have the issue. The revised system will be flight tested on a 737-10 in 2022 and it is likely to be rolled out as a retrofit to the entire MAX fleet following certification of the larger Dash 10 planned for a 2023 launch. Flight tests of the Baseline 737-10, which began with the first flight on June 18th, are going well, Fleming said. A third test aircraft focused on cabin and interior systems evaluations is eventually expected to join the two in testing now in the program. In other MAX news, Boeing has also completed flight tests of the shorter fuselage 737-7 and has finalized all of the paperwork associated with the certification with the FAA on that airplane, Fleming said. We're getting very close from our perspective to having our work done. But of course, in all cases, the regulators decide when we're complete and whether they need any more information from us. Fleming said, we still expect to get that airplane certified and be able to make deliveries in the 2022 time frame. Well, I was wondering what became of the angle of attack changes Boeing was supposed to implement on the MAX. It's good to know they're still working on it. However, the whole crisis could have been avoided in the beginning when company engineers begged Boeing to install all these safety features on the MAX before they delivered the aircraft. And unfortunately, we all know how that turned out. 
Well, that's all I've got for today. But as for me, now I'm going to walk off all these turkey and stuffing leftovers. Nah, who am I kidding? What usually happens is I end up going down some crazy YouTube rabbit hole watching some random guy make furniture out of twigs and duct tape or something like that for hours on end. Oh, and please be sure to check out the buy me a coffee and merch links down below. It is gift giving season after all, so why not help someone you love? Have a very Maximus Christmas with some great swag. So until next time, please be sure to like, subscribe, share and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>